Breakfast Club is a new movie about teenagers. It's a story of what happens to five high school students. A brain, a beauty, a jock, a rebel, a recluse. They're forced to spend their Saturday together because they're all in detention. Joining us this morning are the beauty and the rebel, Molly Ringwald and Judd Nelson. Good morning. To either of you, um, why have the five of those students been cast together in, de in detention? What, what, and then what happens? Well, you sort of find out during the course of the movie. You know, we don't want to give anybody any secrets, but we're all in there for our little individual crime. Excuse me, sir. I think there's been a mistake. I know it's detention, but... Um... I don't think I belong in here. We're all really incredibly honest. And when people are honest, a lot of interesting things happen. What else should we know about Claire, the beauty? She can be described as the girl that you grew up hating. You know, she's a prom queen, homecoming queen, filthy rich, all, you know, perfect clothing and everything. And she's one of these real kind of, she looks real superficial, not very intelligent. <laughs> and <laughs> she appears that way, but she turns out not to be that way. Though. And there's girls like Claire in every school. What's that? Sushi. Sushi? And Judd, who do you play? Uh, I play John Bender, uh, who's, I guess you could say he's from the wrong side of the tracks. He's at the school and feels sort of that he's in this poker game in which all the cards are marked, but everyone else knows what the marks stand for except him. Well so put. he's a bit angry. Who closed that door? I think a screw fell out of it. You play a, a hood when you, in fact, went to one of the finest prep schools in the country in real life. How did you go back and, and recall what life as a hood in a public high school might be like? Well, I uh, have to draw on my imagination a great deal. But in addition to that, we rehearsed outside of um, Chicago. And I went to an actual high school in the area for about a week and a attended classes and was a quiet corner observer. Looking like Judd or like John? Like John. With the hair and... Yes, with the hair and the clothes so that the kids in, in the school would treat me the way that they would treat a character like John. Which is to say how? Uh, with a great deal of condescension. Mm -hmm. And it was great to get the sense of oppression that I think runs rampant mm -hmm. in public high schools. Deans in the hallways hall monitors, principals telling you what to do every second. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Molly, you, um, in playing Claire, I, I take it you don't feel a lot like a Claire type. <laughs> how did you know how to do her? Well, I, I'm still in high school, and there's girls like Claire in every school. You know, I mean, there's no school without a Claire Standish. And uh, I've observed them a great deal, you know, and it was, it was really easy. It was a lot of fun.